They are the ghost animals of northwestern Montana. Woodland caribou are protected as a game animal by statute with a closed season in Montana. This set of antlers is from a Montana bull woodland caribou, legally harvested near Eureka back in the 1920s. Today, reports are occasionally made of tracks or rare sightings, but that may soon change. Caribou from northwestern British Columbia were recently captured and transported 1,200 miles south, where biologists released the animals into their native range, a short 40 miles north of the U.S.-Canadian border. The caribou will be processed one at a time. They'll be chased into a, a back pen here. And in that pen, that animal will be, will be confined with a squeeze gate. So, so it'll be uh, isolated and confined. A sedative will be uh, administered and an assessment uh, will be done on their body condition for uh, measuring body fat. During that time, a second animal will be isolated and sedated. Both caribou will be put, will be put in the back of the helicopter and uh, they'll be flown two at a time to the release site and uh, released with the resident caribou. The boundary between Montana and British Columbia is more of a political boundary that it's not recognized by the wildlife. Whether it's uh, elk or bighorn sheep or grizzly bears or what have you, that they don't recognize that boundary. And so we have our own jurisdictions where we manage species, but we try to work together to work on issues that will benefit both countries. I think it would be very exciting for uh, residents of Montana to know that they might once again have a resident herd of caribou, maybe someday within the state's boundaries. Seventeen cows and three bulls were used to augment the area's population, with the project calling for an additional 20 animals to be released this same time next year. This is Mike Gurnett, out among Montana's and British Columbia's Fish, Wildlife and Parks.